Hello, nice to see you again. How is everything with you? Hello, we hope everything's been going well. 今天是第四十三课第一讲，在这一讲里边，我们要学习第四十三课课文 ，Golden Trumpets， 金喇叭。好，下面我们一起来听一下这篇课文。Golden trumpets. Doctor Hornsnagel, an American explorer, asked the ruler of Yap Yap whether free speech was allowed under his rule. Yes, indeed," said the ruler. My people enjoy complete freedom of speech, and we decide everything according to public opinion. But how do you find out what the public thinks? Asked Doctor Hornsnagel. That's very simple," said the ruler. Whenever any question has to be settled, we gather all the people together in my. Palace. Then we decide our policy by just listening to the golden trumpets. And what are the golden trumpets? Asked Doctor Hornsnagel. Golden trumpets, said the ruler, are used to express public opinion here. I raise my right hand above my head and shout. Those in favour, blow. Immediately, those who are in favour of the proposal blow their golden trumpets. Then I raise my left hand and shout, "Those against, blow." This time, those who are opposed blow theirs. The side which makes the greatest noise is naturally the majority, and the policy is decided in their favour. That said, Doctor Hornsnagel is the most complete democracy that I have ever、uh, heard of. I would like very much to see one of those meetings. On the next afternoon. The people of Yap Yap, both rich and poor, were called into the palace courtyard to decide an important matter. There were only four rich men; all the rest were poor. When all were assembled, the ruler stepped forward and raised his right hand. All those in favour. Blow! He shouted. The four rich men all lifted their golden trumpets and blew hard. Then the ruler lifted his left hand. All those against, blow! He shouted. Not a sound came from the poor people. Thus, the policy was decided, and the meeting. Over. Doctor Hornsnagel asked the ruler why only the four rich men blew trumpets. Because they are the only people who have golden trumpets, said the ruler. The others are all poor people. Well, that doesn't seem very much like free speech to me. Said Hornsnagel, "In America, we have real freedom of speech." Is that so? Said the ruler. And how do you do it in America? In America, said Hornsnagel, instead of golden trumpets, we have newspapers, magazines, and radio stations. That is very interesting," said the ruler. "But who owns all those newspapers, magazines, and radio stations?" "The rich," said Hornsnagel. 
Then it is the same as yap yap, said the ruler. 好，下面请用英文回答以下几个问题。Question one: What did the ruler of Yap Yap say about freedom of speech in his country? What did the ruler of Yap Yap say about freedom of speech in his country? He said his people enjoyed complete freedom of speech. Question two: What did the ruler do when some questions had to be decided? What did the ruler do when some questions had to be decided? He gathered all the people together in his palace. Question three. How did he find out those who were in favor of a proposal? How did he find out those who were in favor of a proposal? He raised his right hand above his head and shouted, "Those in favor, blow!" Question four. How did he find out those who were against the proposal? How did he find out those who were against the proposal? He raised his left hand above his head and shouted, "All those against, blow!" Question five: How did he decide which side was the majority? How did he decide which side was the majority? He decided by listening to the noise of the golden trumpets, believing the side which made the greatest noise must naturally. Be the majority. Question six: What did Doctor Hong Snaggle discover one day when all the people were assembled to decide the important matter? How did Doctor Hong Snaggle discover one day when all the people were assembled? To decide the important matter, he discovered that of all the people assembled, only four rich people had golden trumpets. So the question was decided in favour of the four rich men. That's all for the questions. Now let's move on to the next item, which is useful expressions. 好，回答问题就做到这儿。下面我们来学习课文中的一些语言知识。好，我们先来看课文第一段中的第一句话。Doctor Hornsnagel, an American explorer, asked the ruler of Yap Yap whether free speech was allowed under his rule. 这句话的中文意思是，美国探险家洪斯纳戈博士问汪汪国的国王，在他统治下是否允许言论自由 ？Whether 是否？引出宾语从句，这里可以用 if 代替。在英文中 ，whether 和 if 都做是否讲，但 whether 可用于所有名词从句和动词不定时短语之中。
，而 if 只能用于宾语从句，其中还不包括介词宾语从句。请看下面几个例句。I can't tell you if it will rain tomorrow. 我不能告诉你是否明天会下雨。这句里边可用 whether 代替 if 引出宾语从句。I don't know whether it will rain or not. 我不知道是否会下雨。这句里边的 whether 虽然引出宾语从句，但不能用 if， 因为句子后面出现了 or not。I didn't know whether to laugh or to cry。我真是哭笑不得。Whether。与不定式短语连用，不能用 if。It doesn't make much difference whether you come yourself or send a substitute。你是自己来还是派代理人来，那都无关紧要。Whether 引出主语从句，不能用 if。Doctor Hornsnagel was interested in the question of whether free speech was allowed in Yap Yap. Hornsnagel 博士对汪汪国是否有言论自由这个问题很感兴趣。这句中的 whether 不能用 if 代替，因为他做介词。Of 的宾语。从以上的几个例句，我们可以看出 ，if 当是否讲的时候，它的用法非常有限，只能用于宾语从句之后；而 whether 则可以用在所有名词从句及动词不定式之中。好，下面。我们再来看一下九十五页上的另一句话。Whenever any question has to be settled, we gather all the people together in my palace. 这句话的意思是，只要有问题需要解决，我们就把国人都召集到我的宫殿来。Whenever， 无论何时，或者每当什么时候，这是一个连接词，引导时间状语从句。它由 when 和 ever 合成。Ever 是一个加强语气的词。Whenever 相当于 at any time 或者。Every time, 请看例句。Whenever I am unhappy, he cheers me up. 每当我不高兴的时候，他就给我鼓劲儿。She smiles whenever she sees him. 他每次见到他时，就莞尔一笑。You can visit us whenever you like. 只要你喜欢，什么时候都可以来看我们。从上面的几个例句当中，我们可以看出，用 whenever 引导的时间状语从句的位置比较灵活，它可以放在句首。句子后面一般用逗号，如果放在句末。那么这句话的前面就不用逗号。好，接着我们再来看一下九十六页上的一句话。Not a sound came from the poor people. 
。这句话的意思是，穷人那边没有半点声音。Not a sound. 比 no sound 语气更强，意思是没有半点声音。我们再来看一些相例句。Not a single man was killed, and only three wounded. 无一人死亡，只有三人受伤。Not A single man, 或者 not a man, 要比 no man 语气强多了。Not a penny of the money did he spend. 这笔钱他一个子儿都没用。另外，请大家还注意这句话的倒装形式，在英语里边。含有否定意味的词组位于句子的主谓语前面时，句子一定要倒装。Not a word was said about it. 对此，只字不提。最后，我们再来看一下九十六页上的一句话。Well. That doesn't seem very much like free speech to me. 这句话的中文意思是，哦，我觉得这不太像言论自由。Seem very much like 是一个习惯用法，意思是似乎很像。有时英语中也说 ，look very much like。看上去很像，或者说 ，sound very much like， 听起来很像。好，下面我们来看一些例句。He doesn't seem very much like a millionaire. He doesn't seem very much like a millionaire. 他似乎不太像一个百万富翁。It looks very much like rain. It looks very much like rain. 天看上去很像要下雨。It didn't sound very much like a child of eight talking. It didn't sound very much like a child of eight. Talking. 那听起来不太像是个八岁的孩子在说话。He doesn't seem very much like at home in that strange country. He doesn't seem very much like at home in that strange country. 他在异国他乡。似乎觉得很不自在。He seems very much like a child, though he is already over twenty. He seems very much like a child, though he is already over twenty. 虽说他已经二十多岁了。但还很像一个孩子。It looks very much like the program has run over time. It looks very much like the program has run over time. 这个节目好像超出时间了。The play seems very much like a repeat story. The play seems very much like a repeat story. 这个剧目很像是一个老掉牙的故事。刚才我们学过的这个表达方法 ，seem very much like, sound 
very much like. Look very much like. 在口语当中用的非常广泛，希望大家在课后多多练习，学会使用。Did you enjoy that short story by Mike Quinn, *The Golden Trumpets*? We found it both interesting and amusing. Did you? 好，这一讲就学到这儿。Thank you for staying with us. Look forward to seeing you next time. Bye. Bye bye.